Think fast and answer these three questions quickly. A bat and a ball cost a dollar and ten cents in total. The bat costs one dollar more than the ball. How much does the ball cost? If it takes five machines five minutes to make five widgets, how long would it take hundred machines to make hundred widgets? In a lake, there is a patch of lily pads. Every day, the patch doubles in size. If it takes 48 days for the patch to cover the entire lake, how long would it take for the patch to cover half of the lake? Were one or more of your answers 10 cents, 100 minutes and 24 days? If so, you've fallen into the intuitive thinking trap. You've not been able to override your initial gut response, which in this case is incorrect. You need to engage in further reflection to find the correct answers which are 5 cents, 5 minutes and 47 days. To show you how this is a problem of intuition, let's rephrase the second question. If it takes 9 women 9 months to make 9 babies, how much time would it take 100 women to make 100 babies? Now your intuition serves you well. We may make fun of the times when Galileo was imprisoned because he claimed the earth revolved around the sun, that is heliocentrism and not geocentrism. We call it the irrational age. But when it comes to our own thinking, even today, many times we are not very rational about it and prefer to jump to intuitive conclusions which are often wrong. Studies have shown that we use deliberate thinking only in fields we have specialized knowledge in and continue to think like toddlers in all other fields. In a famous experiment, a group of Harvard graduates were asked, why do we have seasons? Majority of them said that this is because the earth has an elongated elliptical orbit around the sun and hence when the earth is farther away from the sun, it is winter and when it is closer to the sun, it is summer. If this were true, then at a given point in time, it would be summer or winter all across the earth. And we know this is not true when it is winter in the southern hemisphere it is summer in the northern hemisphere and vice versa. We will leave it to your curiosity to find the right answer to the question, why do we have seasons?